fat that you would treat somebody else child that lived with you for good 19 years the fact that you would keep somebody daughter in your house for good 19 years and no confusion nothing no confusion everything was fine everything is fine and you just go and get married and you think that everything will be fine with you 19 years when i met this man he did not have anything when i met him nothing he did not have we slept on the ground for the very first time when i met him when i met my husband we were on the ground mama lapa that he had put on the ground in our very first apartment nothing he was not having he has nothing when i met him i the one were working when i met him and i was with him i didn't marry him because of money because of what he had no we married because of love we love each other and we decide to get married and we've been together for a good 19 years and when you don't want the person at least be respectful be very respectful to that person do not just walk out and say you're going to see your mom and lie to the person that you're going to go see your mother your mother is sick and you're going to see your mother and the next thing the person see is that you marry Why would you treat somebody else child like that? Why would you treat innocent woman that is blameless, that took care of you for a good 19 years? That even when you step on their toes, they move it from there. But I gave God the glory again. Everything happened for a reason. I gave God the praises. I know my God is in his throne, washing over me. He sees the pain that I go through. Every woman will get hurt for the first time, of course. And I, will, I know it will take me a while to get healed. Because it's somebody that I've been with for a good 19 years. That I care for. For 19 years. I will do everything together for a good 19 years and just left this country, go Africa without telling me that he going to go get married. <laughs> the devil is working in him. Mm -hmm. Good 19 years. This year is our 19 years. And you left that person with children. And you go Africa to go and marry. I don't know how he felt when he did that. I don't know how he felt when he did it. But I believe it's something that he made up his mind. And he went to go to. <laughs> the fact is that the one that hurt me that really bring me on this land. We are legally married and we are not divorced yet. We are not divorced. We did not fought nothing. And our divorce and our, our marriage is still in place. And you go Africa to go get married to another woman legally. How did that make you? How did that make you? And the funny thing this morning when I wake up, I open my Facebook page. The message he sent me. I love you. And I love you the most. I still love you the most. And I go there, but where did this coming from? 
But I gave God the glory again.